Cotton Council was paramount, not just with me, but obviously in working really all the decision makers on the Hill. Obviously, you know, Chairman Conaway fortunately comes from a cotton district, so he understood the issue. He heard from his growers, but there was a unified effort. And, and I think you saw that from the, the vast array of, uh, of colleagues that signed on, congressional colleagues that signed on to the effort of fixing the cotton deal that uh, everyone became aware that it was not included in Title I in 2014 <laughs> Farm Bill. That essentially eliminated a safety net that was there. The stacks program unfortunately didn't work the way people had hoped it would work and cotton was out there without any kind of safety net aside from crop insurance. So the, the industry is ahead. The council, not only Ronnie, but his colleagues and all the people who work there were very instrumental in creating a path. And frankly, the good news about it is they created a path with solutions. It wasn't just a handout like more money, more money, more money. They came with solutions about how we could do that. I made the reference this morning that we had to kind of look through every cushion in the couch to find the money on this cotton gin cost share area there. It's uh, money's tight in D.C. right now in the USDA budget, but we were able to move some things around to get this done, but it was only because the cotton industry came in this ballot budget fix and didn't just have a handout saying we need more money, but they came with solutions.